good morning children today we are going to revise for our midterm examination we are going to start from the chapter 5 exponents first we are going to revise the formula what are the formula we are going to use in this exercise and you will be uh, getting one word questions from these formulas laws of exponents a power m multiplied by a power n is equal to a power m plus n. When you have a same base, you have two different powers and it is in terms of multiplication. You are going to write the base a common and you are going to add its power m plus n. So you are going to call this formula as multiplication of powers of the same base. When you have a same base in multiplication, you are going to add its power. a power m into a power n is equal to a power m plus n. The next formula is when you have a same base with uh, different powers in division. a power m divided by a power n. Then your formula will be a power m minus n. Multiplication means you will be writing m plus n. Division means it is m minus n. And whenever you have a base with power 0, your answer will be 1. Any number power 0 is 1. a power 0 is equal to 1. Next, power of power. A base with power and over the base and power, you will be having one more power. You will be calling it as power of power. For example, a power m whole power n. So you will be multiplying the both the powers m into n and you will be writing it as a power m into n. So these are the important formulas you have to understand and memorize it. A next formula is when you have a powers with a different base. See normally you have same base but different power but this is little bit dif different that is you have two different base and the power is common in that case you will be uh, writing the power as common and multiplying its base a into b whole power m so important formulas understand it and learn it and we are going to uh, learn a few one words uh, coming across these formulas the first is 5 power 1 whole power 3 that is it is of the model a power m whole power n when you have two powers you are going to multiply its power 1 into 3 3 so 5 power 3 so it is a, of both positive powers when you have two negative powers you will be multiplying 4 twos are 8 minus into minus plus so your answer is 5 power 8 and like this, when you have a same base with multiplication and you have two different powers. What is the formula you are going to use here? a power m into a power n is equal to a power m plus n. So, you are going to add only its power and writing the base common. So, 5 is common and if you add the power 3 plus 2, it is 5. 5 power 5. And suppose they are asking you a question. What is the base 5 power 3? So, what is your base 5 is? Your base power 3, you can write it as power or you can call it as index. So, index is equal to 3. So, this is the important uh, one word questions you can learn this topic. And if you look at this exercise 5a, you have simplification uh, and uh, express powers as a prime number and either make the following as a square or cube of natural number. These are the important topics where you have to concentrate well. Simplification, I will be explaining you a one problem so that it will be easy for you understanding. 3 cube multiplied by 3 square multiplied by 2 power 5 divided by 3 power 4 multiplied by 2 power cube. First, you look the numerator whether you have a same base. If you look at the numerator, you have a same base 3 so that you are going to add the powers. So if you add its power 3 plus 2 it is 5. So 3 power 5 multiplied by 2 power 5 divided by 3 power 4 multiplied by 2 cube. Next step you are going to check numerator no common term. So denominator you have same base you are going to check. 
so we have the same base 3 3 2 2 so it is of the formula a power n divided by a power n so in this case division you will be writing m minus n you will be subtracting the powers so it is 3 power 5 minus 4 multiplied by 2 power 5 minus 3 5 minus 4 is 1 3 power 1 and then a 2 power 5 minus 3 is 2 so it is 2 square 2 square will be 2 into 2. 2 twos are 4. 3 fours are 12. So your answer is 12. It is an easy problem where you will be simplifying by the formulas you have learned. Similarly, how will you write the given number as a square or a cube number? We are going to revise one problem. Suppose you are going to take a number 144. I am going to do a prime factorization for this. I am going to start with the two tables. 7 twos are 14, 2 twos are 4. Again, two tables. 3 twos are 6, carry over 1. 6 twos are 12. Again, two tables. 1 two is to carry over 1. 8 twos are 16. Two tables. 9 twos are 18. 9 will come in three tables. So, going to select the next uh, multiple 3. 3 threes are 9. Again, three tables. One time. Now, I am going to write this multiples as square number. Because in the equation, they asked us to write as square or as cube. So, it is square is perfect in this question. So, I am going to write as a square number. 2 square multiplied by 2 square multiplied by 3 square. If you look at here, you have different base but the power is same. That is A into B. A power M. B power M can be written as A into B whole power M. You can multiply the. A basis and then you can write the power as common. So I am going to multiply the basis 2 into 2 into 3 and the power 2 is common. So now multiplying it 2 twos are 4, 4 threes are 12, 12 square is 12 into 12. You can write the answer or you can leave as it is because the question is to find only write each of the following as a square or cube. No, we are not going to simplify. So we can stop with this. So, this is exercise. These are the important topics you are going to cover. And the previous exercise, in exercise uh, 4F. So, here we are learning about the rational number. Comparison of rational number. Arranging the rational number in ascending order and descending order. Which rational number is greater? So, these are the topics we have come learned, come across. And you are going to revise these topics for your midterm examination. For an example... If you have a, a rational number like this, and you are going to arrange the rational number in descending order or ascending order. So, what is the first step you will do? You will first see the denominators, whatever you have. If you look at the denominator, you have different denominators. And if you have a negative symbol, first you have to make it as a positive symbol by taking the uh, subtraction to the numerator. And you have to write the rational number like this without any uh, negative number in the denominator. After that, we are going to make all the denominator as a common one by finding LCM for it. So, what are the numbers you have? 3, 4, 7, 8. We are going to find LCM. Your LCM is 24. After finding the LCM, you have to make all the denominator as 24. Whatever number will make the denominator as 24, you have to multiply it by both numerator and denominator. After making it, you are going to compare since it is in ascending order, you are going to arrange it from smaller number to bigger number. So, these are the questions and topics you are going to revise for our examination. Revise well. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. For match the following, choose the best answer. You can write the question and write the answer. You have to draw lines after completing each and every problem. Even for question, if they are asking you to find the ascending order, you can mention it is an ascending order. And then you can continue your answer. So write neatly. If you commit any mistake, or just strike it out using pencil and continue it. Don't overwrite it. Please follow the rough work column. Rough work is necessary. And write the formulas wherever it is necessary. Thank you students.